Guys, Mr. Bowman here. We're looking at 2.6 algebraic concepts. This is the NCA 2017 exam, and we're going to look at the achieved questions only from here. So question number 10. Uh, simplify the following, leaving your answer with positive indices. So just a reminder, negative powers or negative indices normally aren't simple, so they've got to be positive. So question 10, 3. And then in brackets, 4x to the power of minus 2. So the first thing to note, this 3 has its own power of 1. So that's not subject to this negative 2. So what we're going to do, um, if you think of it as a fraction divided by 1, this part with a negative power is going to move to the bottom or the denominator and have a positive power. So we're going to go 3 and then down the bottom, 4x to the power of positive 2. Now positive power, not negative. We can ignore that 1. If we times that by 1, um, that will be the same answer. I'm now going to expand the brackets down the bottom. So it's going to become 4 squared times x squared. And that there is going to become 3 divided by 16x squared. Now on question number 11. And we've got the equation log with a base of 2, x equals 10. So just a reminder, we can switch between the forms. So we've got log base, answer is equal to the power. That can switch back and forth between our regular equation, base power equals answer. And that's what we're going to do here. We're going to change this into our base power answer type format. So our base is 2. Our answer is x, and our power is 10. So we're going to have 2 to the power of 10 is equal to x. This here will be nice and simple to solve. Grab your calculator out. 2 to the power of 10, 1,024. Our final question, question number, question number 12. The quadratic equation 4x squared plus bx minus 5x has solutions of this. Find the value of B. So question number 12. Um, in my view, this is actually the hardest achieved question I've seen um, from these exams. And the way I'm going to start off, I'm actually going to start off with these two answers. So I know a qu this quadratic here, x plus 1 half, and then x minus 5 over 2. That there should be equal to 0. And when you solve this, that there becomes a negative a half. And that there becomes positive 5 over 2. We're now going to have the issue is when we expand this bracket, we get x times x. That's going to get us to x squared. But our equation is 4x squared. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to times this side by 4 to make sure I end up with a 4x squared. And because we've got an equation, I've got to do this on the other side as well. So that's going to be 4 x plus 1 half, and then we've got x minus 5 over 2 is equal to 0. I'm now going to expand the first portion of the bracket. There is going to be 4x plus 2, and then x minus 5 over 2. Um, just a reminder, 5 over 2 is 2.5. So if you wanted to change that to a decimal, you can for this question. That's equal to 0. I'm now going to expand this. 4 times x is 4x squared, and then we've got 4 times negative 2.5. That's going to be negative 10x, and then we've got 2 times x, that's plus 2x, and then we've got 2 times negative 0.5, that there is going to be negative 5. That there is equal to 0. Let's now group together those terms in the middle. That there is going to be 4x squared minus 8x minus 5 equals 0. And when we now look back at our initial equation, we can see we've got the 4x squared and we've got the 5x. And the b comes from this here. So this here is bx. So that means there b is going to be equal to negative 8. Make sure you don't have positive 8. Um, negative 8 would have been the answer for that question. So as I said, probably the hardest achieved question I've seen in one of these exams, but hopefully it makes sense to you.